what is up everyone today i am excited as hell because i finally get to drive a bmw m3 um, now i don't really talk about the cars that i like that much on this channel but this is literally one of my favorite cars uh, there's so many others but i'm not too 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 much of a big fan of like crazy cars but this is one of my most like dream cars that i'd love to get eventually maybe one day um just because it's of the engine the style the body everything um now the one i'm gonna be driving today is a 2010 um va 4.0 pushing like 400 400 horses um 298 pounds to the wheel um now this one's a coupe it's white uh, but it's just it's really sick and I really hope I really hope I get the that feeling that I'm really hoping for just because like I said I've never driven one before uh, so I'm super just excited as fuck right now I can't even I just really want to drive I want to turn it on just fucking rev the shit out of it uh, but of course it's not my car so I can't really do that uh, but here I'll let you guys look take a peek at it and just look at it real quick So this is the V8, nice one, it seems like it has an aftermarket exhaust on it too. Uh, I've yet to start it, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this little sucker on. Now this is a manual uh, BMW so it's even better um, when it comes to driving this little piece of gorgeousness damn this clutch is crazy um, all right let me make sure it's on I don't even know what these buttons are I don't even know what half of this shit is let me see if I can just put the camera like right here oh it's kind of ass but fuck it it works. It kind of, ah, oh, that shit's ass. Okay, it works. It works. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not even gonna complain. Okay, it probably doesn't even need the key inside, but I'm pretty sure y'all want to hear that cold start. I just leave the door open because I don't really feel like putting the camera and setting it up. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it just for you guys. Okay. Okay, so that did sound a little crazy. Not not as loud as I thought it'd be, but it's still pretty good. Um just looking at it to be honest. I'm just gonna mess with it just because um I wanna really kinda do a car review on this really. Um rather than uh just drive it and fuck it, but let's see. Okay, so the radio is pretty updated get the regular standard stuff AC whatnot it's not like we're gonna use it right now um, of course we're gonna put these windows down we're whipping it got the regular M seats nothing nothing too crazy just uh, I don't know if this is not it's not even carbon fiber it's not even carbon fiber. it's like some I don't know some random I don't know what that is but anyways it's not the point the point of the car is six speeds um, of course Make sure y'all know it's manual. I ain't bullshitting y'all. Let me probably rev it. Oh my god, that sound. Okay, um, I went up to about three to 4,000 RPMs. I didn't want to go crazy. Uh, just like I said, because I'm not going to cry and blow this car up now. Uh, I'm still waiting for it to warm up too. But um, I'm still I'm still in awe, honestly. I mean, like I said, it has a custom exhaust on it. The only thing, uh, the clutch just feel does feel a little like light. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like stock on the car. Uh, the car has currently about 84,000, so maybe maybe it went you know it's a little down. Uh, but other than that, the car feels it's, it seems it seems nice. It's it's idling pretty pretty straight right now. All right, I got someone who's gonna come with me along the way. He's gonna give me my license plate, uh, but this is gonna be amazing. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of get adjusted to the clutch and whatnot, just to take it out real quick. 
just because it feels a little okay it's not that bad actually thought it was worse but it's, it's actually pretty smooth it's a lot easier than I thought to actually take out a lot I'm gonna probably cut that out but oh look at this probably can't see this but look at this even the seats come okay this is probably not this probably don't come with it but this, this shit backwards I'm probably gonna have to fix this there you go that's how it's supposed to be Puedes manejar de acá para abajo. ¿Dónde? Porque si allá hay muchas luces. Acá para allá. Ah, ok. So para allá hay muchas luces. Okay. Cuando acá sales y manejas hacia abajo, ahí hay un retorno. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. The exhaust isn't loud, whatever aftermarket it is, but it still sounds really smooth. You can really hear the V8 in it, and I, I love it. Uh, honestly, I love it. It's actually pretty spacious compared to the... I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, especially to the four-door one. Because um, I've seen the four-door, it's a lot... It looks a lot bigger. I mean, it's probably not that big. Uh, but obviously, on the weight, this is obviously a lot lighter than the four-door. Um, so... I mean, it's still pretty spacious in the back. Um, I'll try to show you guys a little bit in the back later when I'm done driving, but it's not bad, honestly. This car's pretty, for family car, and I know someone who owns one, and he has uh, the same exact one, the coupe, and um, he's a family man. I guess his wife let him get it, but it's not that bad, honestly. You can actually carry a, a baby or a kid in here and have fun in it while still being a, I like it. It's not loud, it's not obnoxious, but I'm pretty sure if you wanted this car to push it, it yeah, definitely push it. I like the, uh, the actual, the, the actual navigation on it. It's pretty smooth. It's, uh, it's a pretty newer one, and uh, I had an 08 model that didn't have as much of a clean one, but uh, this one's pretty nice. I love it a lot. I want to see a trunk space to be honest because I don't know what it looks like in the back. And it's actually really, really spacious. Surprisingly enough, I mean, you can fit a couple things in here. For a coupe, I mean, for a coupe and still have space for some back passengers, you still have the power that you want. Beautiful. And I think I'm being a little biased just because of the fact that I like this car in general. So I was expecting maybe, you know, to actually get something out of it. You know, I'm not I'm not saying like, oh. Honestly, there's like a power button. I just wanted to press real quick. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it does, but I was just like, let me press this shit. All right, turned off. Anyways, uh, but like I said, yeah, it's just, I, I don't want to say like, you know, just because yeah, I've always loved this car, regardless, I'm trying to amp it up. But honestly, it's an overall pretty smooth car, man. It has a really aggressive look, just lots of good features. The body's really smooth, and it's just it's just really seamless. Like, it's perfect. It's a coupe. Like I said, you can get this in a four-door, and you still get the nice space that it comes with. Like, it's not bad. It's not a bad car overall. Like it's an M3. You're not getting much out of an M3, but it's a sick M3 though. I wanna see 
the backspace actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure bro. For sure. I've never owned a coupe with back seats. Like the before I had a Genesis at one point. That shit was straight ass, to be honest. When it came to the back seats, people if I had a tall person he had to sit up front. Literally, you'd, you'd be like this, just breaking your neck in the back, because it was just not, it was not comfortable at all. This car is just, what is this button? Oh, that's the little thingy that goes out, and it, okay, helps you put your shoe belt on. You know what sucks? I noticed it doesn't have backup camera, and for a car that's this new, I'd expect a backup camera. Or sensors or, or whatnot. I don't know. I, I just noticed that it doesn't have any of those things. Let me stop fucking for y'all niggas. Don't do the kind of shit for y'all niggas. Ain't the hardest nigga in the land, but a grown ass man. And I will step to y'all niggas like, what's the problem? Ain't getting paper, nigga. Here's the loan. My shit long. Need a hit so long. Alright, this is the end of my video. God, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed this car. Um. Like I said, I give this car a beautiful 9 out of 10. I would give this a 10 out of 10 only if I got to floor it. Maybe. Depends. But obviously over... You know what? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Space, I give it a 10 out of 10. Comfortableness, a 10 out of 10. Uh, power, a 10 out of 10. Um, overall beauty, a 10 out of 10. Okay, you know what? This car just deserves a 10. Okay, I can't give it a 9. I can't do that to the M3, okay? This is, this is a masterpiece. I can't do that to that. I don't even want to get the fucking car now. <laughs> I need I need it. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. The music was a little loud. I didn't realize it. Hope I don't get copyright for that. But I lied. It's a 2011. But it's still nice. It's still nice. You know what? For some reason, I thought this VA came with a Pulse 4.6. I don't know why. I, where that came out of. 414 horses. I can feel them. Feels a lot better than my car. I can tell you that much. Like I said, 300 on 414. You can feel the difference. Car review. BMW 3. 10 out of 10. Perfect car. Maybe I'll try and drive a newer BMW M3 with the twin turbos and whatnot. The buttons kick out a lot more horsepower. So maybe it's a lot better. But uh, that is it for this one. We're gonna leave it here and um, catch you guys later. I'll see you guys next time.